Good morning. We would like to begin by acknowledging the land we are on. I'd like to acknowledge and pay my deep respects to the Lenape people and elders and ancestors, past, present, and future. I acknowledge and offer deep gratitude to this Lenape land and water and gathered here right now together. I invite you to join me in that acknowledgement, respect, and gratitude. Thank you for joining us at the Refiguring the Future Conference, presented by Refresh and iBeam. Refresh is a collaboratively and politically engaged platform established in 2016. As a collective, we begin with inclusion as a starting point for pursuing sustainable artistic and curatorial practices from the fields of art, science, and technology. We are Lola Martinez, who goes by they and them, and I'm Mandak Mohamed, I go by she and her, co-organizers of today's conference. We are pleased to have you with us to participate in conversations over the next couple of days on how science and technology have shaped the world around us, bringing together an array of artists, educators, writers, and cultural strategists to envision a shared, liberatory, world-building politic. The conference brings forth critical perspectives that offer ways of living differently in relation to land, self, and others. Before we begin, we'd like to thank all of the staff, volunteers, artists, and speakers who have collectively made this event possible. And I'd also like to give a special thanks to Yi Dan Zhang, who without her hard work and support, this event would not be possible. Um, finally, we would like to review our community guidelines that will frame the conversations throughout the conference. And we seek to create and maintain a safe and diverse space where consent and respect are our first priorities. Firstly, we respect diversity of identities, including gender, gender identity ex and expression, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body, race, age, or religion. We respect each other's boundaries mentally, emotionally, and physically. We give care to how we communicate and use language that is clear and inclusive. And finally, we show up fully and commit to being accountable to one another by fostering a consent forward space. Now we'd like to introduce Sarah Watson, Chief Curator of Hunter College Art Galleries, who will share some remarks. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I am so excited to welcome everyone to Hunter um, for the Refiguring the Future conference. Uh, the Hunter College Art Galleries are thrilled to be in partnership with iBeam and Refresh to present Refiguring the Future, both the conference here today and at the Knockdown Center tomorrow, and the exhibition that just kicked off at our 205 Hudson uh, Gallery last night. As a university art gallery situated in a public college that is committed both to the arts and to making um, higher education more accessible, we strive to present exhibitions and programming that expand and challenge how we think. Over the last few years, we have taken on the mission of building partnerships with other institutions and organizations across the city and beyond, knowing that we can accomplish more through collaboration and dialogue with others than we can alone. Refiguring the future is the result of this kind of thinking. I wanna thank everyone involved in making this epic project possible, and I wanna thank our sponsors for the conference today, Open Society Foundations, the John T. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, and the Hunter College Foundation. It's my honor to turn things over to Roddy Schrock, Executive Director of IBEAM. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's really a pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Roddy Schrock, and I have the privilege of working as the Executive Director of IBEAM. About two and a half years ago, after the Refresh Collective had published its op-ed in The Guardian, which brought to the fore the inequity of a major media arts prize in Europe, I was sitting at lunch with Heather Dewey Hagborg and Addie Wagenknecht. They began telling me about this idea of an alternative exhibition and conference that would take inclusion as the starting point and provide an alternative approach to featuring the most innovative and diverse media art from around the world. From that day until now, I have seen them work tirelessly towards that goal, and it feels amazing to be here this morning to celebrate the realization of that idea through the support of so many from so many parts of the world. If the ensuing years have taught us anything, it's that this type of work, along with the requisite institutional support and in centering it in the culture, is more important than ever. Topics about which these artists and thinkers have been banging the drum for years are now front and center in the news on a daily basis. 
These are the artists that have been sounding the alarms, telling us to listen and think about the fact that you can never take technology out of the culture that produces it. And they are also suggesting more humane ways of reimagining this technology, refiguring it for a more just future. The value of this type of work in empowering artists to help society rethink its relationship to technology is crucial right now. And I would like to remind you to help this work expand its reach, please use the hashtag Refiguring the Future for all of your social media throughout the day. iBeam is a platform for artists to engage society's relationship with technology. We've been supporting artists who are creating a more just future since 1998, and we are honored that the Refresh Collective wanted to partner with us in helping realize this initiative. It has helped us grow as an organization, challenging us in the most positive ways and providing a clear focal point for our vision. We are grateful for that and appreciate so much this opportunity to work with our alums as well as meet new incredible artists and thinkers. And to achieve this work, we've made a lot of great new friends, including, as Sarah mentioned, the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation and the Open Society Foundations who work together in the NetGain Partnership. Thank you so much for making this all possible. It's truly inspiring to witness your support of this important work. And to Hunter College, who has been so generous in supporting us and partnering with us in producing a museum quality exhibition at 205 Hudson Gallery and here at Kay Playhouse, making this incredibly important conference real. And thank you to Lola Martinez and Mendek Mohammed, conference co-organizers for pooling this incredible, incredible lineup together. These new relationships are allowing us to do amazing things and we look forward to a long and impactful relationship with you all as IB moves into the next 20 years. And thank you to the generous leadership of the IBM Board of Directors who I've had the enormous pleasure of working with in these recent years. And I want to say a deep thank you to the IBM team and in particular for the hard work of our Director of Programs, Sally Sved, who has brought enormous energy and skill to this whole initiative. Together, this small but mighty team has worked tirelessly daily with all of the amazing staff from Hunter College Art Galleries at the K Playhouse and at Knockdown Center, as well as the Refresh Collective itself, to make something exist that simply didn't before. And they've done it with grace and elegance. I'm honored to work with you all. iBeam is at its best when it's pushing boundaries, experimenting, and charting paths for better futures driven by our values, and opening up space for people to dream of what can be, not just what is. I was reminded of iBeam's magic when Morishin Alayari, an iBeam alum who coined the title Refiguring the Future, was recounting the growth in her practice from having a year of protected space for experimentation in the iBeam residency program, and how the conversations and critiques with other iBeam alums and the iBeam family radically and positively altered the trajectory of her practice as an artist. The story reaffirms the iBeam recipe, two parts freedom to work on what you want, one part critical dialogue, and one part play. Thank you all for being here, and I can't wait to see what this amazing, talented group of artists and curators does next. <laughs>